Rock County has been terrorized by one holdup after another. Myself and my men have been riding day and night, but the bandits have so escaped us. There's only one man who could be so clever, and that's Billy the Kid. He and his gang may be riding your way. Be on your guard. Signed, Sam Packard, Sheriff of Red Rock County. Well, Billy the Kid, what have you got to say to that? I don't reckon as much as I can say. Well, I can say it's a dagnab lie. Be quiet, sir. There ain't no time to be quiet. Sheriff Packard seems certain, but you're guilty. He'll be mighty glad to know that I've got you right here in my office. Say, you ain't gonna start... Why don't you be quiet and stop interrupting the sheriff? Well, that might be a good idea. And then again, it might not be. Mm, I'll talk to that groundhog. I told you to be quiet. And I said, ain't no time to be quiet. That never... Tommy, ain't no good. We gotta do something. You're right, we'll do something. <laughs> 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 Fuzzy, sure on your side. Yeah, sometimes too much. Well, what do you think I ought to do, sir? Well, that's hard to say right now. It's my duty to answer this letter and say that you're here. You mean I should give myself up? Well, that's one way of settling the matter. But under the circumstances, I don't think it's the best way. I was hoping you'd say that. Of course, being my guest for the past month gives you a perfect alibi, Billy. You can clear yourself easily. But in doing so, remember, there are sheriffs in other counties that have old axes to grind. Yeah, some word got around, it sure opened a hornet's nest. Someone's sure doing a good job of impersonating you. I'd certainly like to find out who it is. There's two ways you can clear yourself, Billy. Give yourself up or make the other fella give himself up. And according to Sheriff Packard, that don't look so easy. I'll take the second. Then you'll be riding toward Red Rock County? Just as soon as I can throw some letter on my horse. Oh, I wish I were riding with you. But it's best you go alone. Here. You might need these. And good luck. Thanks, Sheriff. Critters putting up posters like that. There ought to be a law against something. <laughs> That's good. A law against wanted posters. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm thinking? I have to know. Being out to catch them ornery critters is kind of like being the sheriff, only it's under a whisk of. under a whisk. under a. <laughs> <laughs> unofficial. Dad, never, if you'd leave me alone, I'd get it out. Knew all the time was under a whisk. I don't trust him. I don't know what you said. Speaking of sheriff, looks like we've run across our first clue. Well, I'll be doggone. And right under our snoot.
dead, dirty varmint. Sheriff, it ain't healthy sending deputies out alone. Billy the Kid. Sure getting the free publicity in this county. Yeah, I got some respect for the wolf that drags down his own meat. But the coyote that picks the bones never appeal to me none. Looks like we got a good coyote hunting our hands. Come on, let's see if we can pick up that trail. Separate and meet at the hideout tonight. I'll be over at your place later. That one name on it, Paul Cat. We'll soon find out. Come on. Now you stay here. The uh, guy don't like it. Something might happen. Take a look. You satisfied? I don't know. I followed the man in here who held up and killed the sheriff. You know anything? You a sheriff? No. Should I know anything about killing a sheriff's deputy? I think you should. Well, suppose you tell me why. Because you're one of the bandits? You seem pretty sure. I'm sure than ever now. I might have known you'd show up one of these days, Billy the Kid. Now let me ask one. Just why were you expecting a visit from me? Because of publicity. We must have done a good job. Oh, I'm the sheriff. Now wait a minute. Aren't you being a little hasty? The quicker I get you and your gang behind bars, the better I'm going to like it. It's a mighty pretty speech, but I can tell you why it won't work. Talking won't do any good. Come on. I think it will. You see, I've been all around Red Rock County ever since I was a little girl. How's it going to look when Billy the Kid, who the sheriff's looking for right now, goes riding into town and says that Kate Shelley is the leader of the bandits? Is he going to believe you? Come on, sit down. What's on your mind? Can't you guess why I put the blame for a gunman like you? Yeah? You see, I got big ideas. You see, things are getting pretty hot around here. And with a couple more jobs, I'm going to move the boys up north around the mines. But... Dylan! Thank you. 
Nice to play meet you, Gus. The hot-headed fool. Don't come in. If I do join you, what's my cut? That's what I'd like to know. The well, details can be arranged later. It's okay with me. Well, we'll have a meeting with the rest of the boys tomorrow. I reckon I can make it. the dag negative mess I ever seen. It's perfect. Perfect? Sure. A gang of bandits terrorizing the county and then blaming it on to you? Then when you do find it, the leader, you find out he's a she-male. I mean, she's a he-male. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you don't do nothing about it. Yeah, you can't go back to Sheriff Connolly and admit that we're licked. Yeah, but we can, uh, we, um, you got any ideas? Well, we can start by eliminating her gang. She can't operate alone. Nations are married, you fellas, peaceful citizens. Why, I, I thought you were bandits. Peaceful citizen, eh? I saw you with Billy the Kid. Me with Billy the Kid? <laughs> now I know you're plum local. Just local enough to put you behind the bars. Guys, on, you can't arrest me. I'm a respectful citizen. Why well, I have a law on you? That's what I'll do. I'll take you. Just passing through. Well, we don't like strangers in these parts. We'll see what the boss has to say about you. Who is your boss? Never mind. Start walking. Where'd you find this old friend? He was riding this way, acting kind of suspicious. Nothing, huh? No, just putting a lot of distance between me and the sheriff. It's too bad you got away. Outside, boys, I got a little business with this fellow. Sit down, I want to have a little talk with you. What's on your mind? Well, I don't think it'd be healthy for you to join up with Kate. Why not? My guess, you might accidentally get hurt. Back in the jet, it's spread a lot of colors from Boot Hill. And I still say it ain't healthy. I can take care of myself. I'll be getting rid of you right now. Hold it, Dylan. What's he doing here? 
best on him snooping around. How'd you know this was our hideout? I didn't. Your men brought me here. You have a way of arriving unexpectedly, but as long as you're here, let's settle our deal. Okay. Now, before I begin, did you have a partner when you rode into these parts? A partner? Yeah, I just came from town. The sheriff's posse picked up a man they said it was with Billy the Kid. You know anything about it? It's news to me. He didn't answer your question, Chief. Well? Now listen, get this straight. It's your idea of my joining up with you. Want to call it quits is okay with me. Besides, my cut may be too high. That's just what are you asking? 50%? Well, he's crazy. Maybe not. I'll make a deal with you for 50%, providing I get 50% of everything you take. Is that too high for you? No. Oh, I'm glad you agree, because there's a little job coming up. The bank's sending a gold shipment by stage to Hancock. You can take some of the boys, it'll be your first job. How's that sound? Sounds fine. Listen, you. It'll go a lot easier on you if you talk. Oh, you know, I know. Well, we happen to know that you're a pal of Billy the Kid. We thought you would. Now, worry. How should I know? Furthermore, I'm a peaceful citizen. You've got no right. Well, I've got no right, huh? Now, worry. Yes, it's as good as mine. All right, boy. Throw him in the cell. I think he'll change his mind a little later. Hey, hey. You better learn something to get through with me. Okay, Sheriff. What happened? What's that what happened? Wait a minute. Billy the Kid intends holding up the Hancock stage tonight. See who threw that rock. Get out of here. I know you don't believe what I've been telling you, but well, I'm in this business because I like it. By the looks of things, you've done a pretty good job. You know, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. Don't you? I know how you feel. Yeah, we've got the same kind of a score, that'll. I never settled anything. What do you mean? Just that. Once you start running away, you gotta keep running. With you, it's different. You've got a home, you can settle down, make a good life for yourself. <laughs> I can't. And what's the matter with my life just the way it is? Nothing. That's the way you want it. Always having the law after you. What ails you? Not a thing. Why? You sound like a tin horn reformer. <laughs> uh, it's just that I envy you your ranch. You know, Fuzzy and me are... Fuzzy? Who's he? Oh, just an old fellow that always had a hankering to settle down. Never got around to it. Do you need any more information about the stage? No. No, I can handle it. Well, you better get going. The boys are waiting at the hideout. All right, I'll get going. Bye. chance to catch Billy the Kid. Remember, he killed Deputy Taylor. When he robs the stakes to Hancock, we're going to be there to give him a warm welcome. Stage is due in five minutes, so come on, let's get going. Well, Curly, stay here and keep an eye on things.
see you. You know, I... Quiet. Was... No time to talk now. Come on. Where'd you hit him with a sledgehammer? You gotta let me tell you what happened. All right, what happened? Somebody threw a rock in here with a note on it. And I heard the sheriff read it. And it said Billy the Kid is going to hold up the handcuff stage tonight. I thought one of those poor cats had tip it off. What poor cat? Quiet. Tell me what's going on. Did you see that gal again? Sure. I joined a gang. Uh, hey, have you gone plumb local? Hey, you can't hold up that stage. Who says I can't? And line check I found. It's going to be your home for a while, bud. My home? What are you going to do? Uh, I'll try to get things straightened out. Now you stay here. I'll bring you some company. Company? What do you mean? You'll find out. Get going. And don't get ambitious. Go on.
Hey, what do you got here? Company. Uh, what's it all about? And who are these fellas? A couple of the girls' gang. Hmm. Maybe I ain't hearing right, and I still don't know what you're driving at. Never mind that. Let's time off. Get on back here. There's something funny going on around here. Yeah, something mighty funny. Just why did you only take two men? I told him to take more. Shut up. Well, Billy? It's the way I operate. Which proved to be wrong. Which proved to be right. Because somebody tipped off the sheriff. Because how did you know he was tipped off? Yeah, how did you know? That's not hard to guess. When you see the sheriff and his posse following your stage all the way to Hancock. You know, I've had a little experience along this line. And I suppose Dirk and Tex just disappeared into thin air. Suppose you figure it out, Dylan. I'm traveling. Traveling? Sure. You did all right without me. I was doing all right without you. Let's call it quit. Sure. That's a good idea. Now, wait a minute. I'm boss around here. Don't let everybody forget it. I'm saying who goes and who stays. And you're staying. Okay. If you operate my way. There's a job on the stage. It's one never been tackled before. The bank in Red Rock City. Yeah, Kate. The bank. I hear you've had a lot of experience with those bank jobs. Only this time we'll work together. Is that all right with you? Why not? Uh, that ought to do it. Billy, do you think you're doing the right thing? Sure. First time I ever warned the sheriff about anything. Well, that's what I feared of. Warning the sheriff and then riding this gal in her gang. To me, it don't add up right. Got any better ideas? Yeah, let's ditch the whole thing. We weren't talking to that lady the other day. Well, that was the other day. Probably got a right to change his mind, ain't he? We're forgetting we have to answer the sheriff kindly. When a woman raises her head, that means trouble and plenty of it. <laughs> Sometimes you're worse than a woman. Now, you keep an eye on our guest. I'll be back as soon as I deliver this note to Sheriff Packard. Hey, Billy. Be extra careful, will you? Okay, buddy. <laughs> Business. Business. Dylan sent us over to have a little talk with you. Seeing you didn't leave any address, we had a little trouble finding you. Why can't Dylan do his own talking? We're doing it for him. Get in that shack. What's the matter with talking out here? I said in the shack. Get going. Somebody sometimes. <laughs> An attempt will be made to hold up the bank. 
You know, this second warning seems to be on the level. Oh, I, oh, I know, I know, boys, but listen, we can't afford to take any chances. Well, well maybe he's right. I remember seeing him, you know. More coffee? No, no, I've had plenty. Say, hey, you're a mighty good cook. You're mighty good for those pretty woods, too. I mean it. Best meal I've had in a month. Well, I think I better clean up. We've got to meet the boys. Need any help? Well, suit yourself. Good. I should think you'd miss all this. Miss all what? Your home, your freedom. Privilege of doing what you want, when you want, going where you please. Not a lecture? Maybe. I'd think twice before I'd give up what you've got. You says I'm giving up anything. Cards are stacked against you, kid. Yeah? Not the way I look at it. Bank hold-ups are risky business no matter how you look at it. Somebody always gets hurt. I ought to know. Yeah, that's right. You ought to know. And you ought to know that I'm getting sick of your preaching. Vincent Baxter have disappeared. How do you know? Well, they haven't showed up since yesterday, and I... Well, never mind. They probably will. It's not like Spence to run out. There's something mighty funny going on. I said never mind. Are the rest of the boys up the hideout? Yeah, but I talked... Well, let's get started. We'll crack that bank and crack it good. You ready, Billy? Sure, I'm ready. We'll see in a minute. Take care of him. I'll save you the trouble. I thought I'd take care of him. I don't get it. First I'm your partner, then I'm your prisoner. I'm just not taking any chances with you. You don't know it, Kate, but you're doing me a favor. Yeah? Yeah, I told you bank holdups are risky. You know, I think I'm beginning to understand you. You're doing something you'll regret the rest of your life. I know. Now forget about this bank holdup. Give it up. Preaching again, aren't you? No. I just know what I'm talking about. Well, maybe you'll know what I'm talking about. Because my man didn't just disappear into thin air. You know, Billy, this is going to be one of your biggest jobs. And I'm going to see that you get all the credit. Y'all ready, boys? All set. Pete, you stay here and keep an eye on an hombre inside. Better than to fight with me. Hey, <laughs> when I get my trigger finger loose enough. Why you wanna be bandit? <laughs> You're not a tenderfoot. When it and we'll be in town. Any different plans? Only just one thing. Call out the name of Billy the Kid loud and often. With pleasure. Now, I don't need to tell you men what to do. So get undercover. And remember, stay there till I give you the signal. Come on.
Got a cigarette? Sure. Look like there's anybody around, Spence. Well, I'll take a look inside. Hey, what's keeping you, Spence?
Yours in the jailbreak. Pleasure. I'll be back with you in a minute, Sheriff. 